excited to share this black eyed peas recipe with you all. We call it lobia in Hindi, karamani in Tamil and I grew up having this black eyed peas curry. Giving it a twist today by adding some coconut milk. It's going to taste delicious and it's all done in one pot. Yes, I'm making it in instant pot and I was able to save so much of my time. When I bought this instant pot, I had released a step-by-step -step guided video on how to use this instant pot and describing each part in detail. If you missed it, I'm dropping the link in the description below, so do check that out. Now let's see how to make this delicious Karamani Lobia Black Eyed Peas Curry, so let's get started. Welcome to Shine with Shops. This channel is all about making you shine with my healthy diet and building your emotional strength. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates from me. For this I'm taking 2 cups of black eyed peas. Did you know that black eyed peas contain an impressive amount of vitamin A? This supports eye and skin health. This also helps boost your iron. Just half cup of these beans will help boost your iron by 2.2 mg. The only preparation needed is to soak them for 4 hours or longer. But today I'm going to show this easy method. I pour hot boiling water and soak it for just 30 minutes. After half an hour, you will see the beans grow larger in size and ready to cook. Use this tip if you don't want to soak for long hours. Pluck the instant pot. Turn the saute mode on. It shows 30 minutes. I'm going to do 5 minutes. In general, black eyed peas cook faster than the other beans. Now drizzle 1 tablespoon of oil. Add 1 teaspoon cumin seeds or jeera. The aroma is fantastic already. Add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Mix it. And to this add 1 medium sized onion diced. I am using white onion. You may use red onion if you have. Now I am adding 2 cups of spinach roughly chopped. This is going to make it iron rich food. Notice that I love add spinach in my diet. I've made spinach alu tikki, spinach uthapam, spinach dal. Check out those recipes. Now add half teaspoon ground turmeric powder, one teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon red chili powder, one teaspoon salt. Adjust accordingly. Mix everything for a few seconds. Add two tomatoes pureed. Mix and saute for a minute until the raw smell goes away and all the ingredients are mixed in. Now let's add in the soaked black eyed peas. Make sure to drain. Don't add the soaked water. Always drain. Now mix well. To this I am going to add 1 cup of water. And for some extra flavor, I'm just dropping one stick of cinnamon. It smells good already. Close the lid. Make sure the arrow is aligned when you close. Then cancel the saute mode and turn the pressure cooker mode on. It shows 5 minutes and the setting is on high. I'm going to set it for 12 minutes. It will turn on and start building pressure. Once the pressure builds, you will notice the steam and the float valve will start wiggling and come up. There, once it's up, the set cooking time will turn on. After the cooking time is done, wait for the pressure to release by itself or you can press the release button and the float valve will go down. This shows that the pressure is completely released and you can open the lid. Never open the lid in between. It's not done yet. Keep watching. You should be able to easily open it along with the sound. At this point, check to see if the bean is cooked thoroughly. It looks good. I'm going to press cancel to turn off all the settings because I'm pouring 1 cup of coconut milk. 
This will give the creamy texture to the curry and enhance the taste. So yummy, I'm going to mix it well. Lot of the dishes are prepared using coconut in my hometown. Turn the saute mode on and let it heat up for a few seconds. Garnish with half teaspoon of roasted cumin powder. The aroma is just fantastic. I wish you could smell. One last step to go. Cancel to turn off all the settings and drizzle in some lime juice. Freshly squeeze lime juice to kick in some tanginess. This is just fantastic. Serve it hot with rice, bread or enjoy it like a soup. This is so easy and flavorful. Iron rich lunch or dinner can be prepared quickly using an instant pot. Do give it a try. You will love it. You can just let the instant pot cook, do your work and come back whenever you're ready to eat. If you like this recipe, share it with your friends. Stay tuned for another exciting recipe and don't forget to shine with shoes.